Hey guys, this is Gaudens and welcome to our tutorial. I would like to thank everyone that supported my channel through donations. So if you're in a better position, please guys don't forget to donate to my channel. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a cool effect. Alright, so let's just go into um, fluid effects and create a 2D container. So this uh, 2D container, make sure it's selected. Make sure it's selected, alright? Then go to add edit content and emit uh, nah, paint and go to paint fluid 2 confusing myself already and then go into attributes maps and click on import I'm gonna import a file okay I'm gonna my file is in my time machine and it is in images this is the file that I want to um, that I want to uh, import so just press open you, you import, press 5 to shade it as you can see, the resolution is not that good. So, to uh, ramp up the resolution, I can increase the base resolution, but it won't be as perfect as I want it to be, okay? I'm going to do it anyway to show you guys. See? It's not as perfect. If I zoom in, you'll be able to tell the pixelation on the edges. Alright. So, I'm going to um, change this to something high, like uh, um, 500. Double it. Why not? 500. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-import this image again. You notice that it's bang, it's crisp. All right. So um, it's crisp now. So I'm gonna um, actually, I think it's about 50 frames, about that much. Yeah. Let me just um, play this. Actually, I think 60, 70 frames. 70 frames. I'm gonna play this again. There you go. So, um, sometimes if you've got a, if you've, if you've got just a plain logo, it will be worthwhile to just paint the density, and you'll be able to see your logo depending on what you're after. And again, you know, you can also add you can also add um, color to your object. Okay, if you've got whether you've, you've uh, created your text or if you if whether you've created your logo. Or text from Photoshop you'll be able to attach your color okay it depends on what you want okay so in this case if I want to attach color to this actual uh, thing if it had color I have to go to um, paintable attributes I want to paint both the density and the color okay then set this to dynamic it will turn to like greenish gray kind of thing all right so I'm gonna re-import but this time I'm gonna import um, I'm going to import the, the uh, PNG to begin with. I'm going to uh, import that one. There you go. So if I, the zero has color now. If I um, play that, you'll be able to see the effect that I'm going to achieve. So, um, on the other hand, if I scrub, see, it's not in real time. I can't scrub back and forth, okay? It's not in real time which is uh, not good for me. So to, to be able to, to scrub this in real time, I have to cache my file. So I'm gonna go to fluid cache, create new cache, and just replace whatever is existing on there. So that will, will add uh, a cache file, which will, be, which will let me scroll back and forth in real time. Bang, you've got that. So I'll be able to actually play with that. Okay, that's a pretty cool effect that you can create for text or for logos dissipating into the air and stuff like that. So there you have my tutorial. There you have the tutorial, guys. I hope you like it. I hope there's something you're gonna use this for. And uh, yeah, that's a cool information for you. Make sure you, you use that. You show me something cool, guys. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching my tutorial. And please don't forget to support my channel. Please donate to my channel. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye bye.